our plans uh, uh, for the next year or thereafter. Uh, clearly, we need to maximize our investment that we've done over these two years uh, in terms of not only the warehouse and the, uh, the head offices, but also the time we spent, the infrastructure we set up. Uh, we invested heavily into our warehousing software system uh, that really put us on top of, of where, where the big, big uh, retailers work with. Um, we uh, will do that. Uh, we will have a major focus on new product development. Uh, we realize that we need to expand our marketing department, which has started already to bring in extra skills and more skills to ensure product uh, throughput is, is uh, rushed up. Uh, the second issue is that we want to optimize our trading in South Africa. Uh, now, we don't believe that we are trading optimally at this point in time. A uh, simple example is one or two retailers indicated that we should get more space things are getting tougher out in retail for every retailer and they can see that given the difference in the very mark model and our TV exposure that there is a bigger opportunity at this very tough time for very mark to increase sales. Uh, the other uh, uh, future uh, strategy that we have is to look at international. Uh, you know, we would do that. There was two ways of how we do it: to license product. In other words, we appoint distributors in the markets. We used to do that up till about seven years ago when we decided to rather focus only locally. At that point in time, we already supplied 40 countries. Uh, you know, that is a product like Twister or you know, a, a home what we call a home run. We supply the company the, the video footage, the TV commercial really, or infomercial, and we take a small markup on it. Now that we want to reactivate, but more exciting is that given the level of interest that we experienced over the last uh, uh, four or five years of companies approaching us, stating outright that Verimark must be the benchmark of taking this TV concept into retail and why can't we duplicate that in other markets. And that is what we are busy exploring at this point in time. I can't be too specific what markets we have already uh, entered, but uh, the idea is to do it on a very selective basis where we take not only our products, but all our skill and know-how, uh, what is known in the industry as intellectual property or IP, and to really duplicate it in those markets. The idea is then to clearly not take a, a markup which you do when you supply product and TV commercial to, to these distributors, but to rather take a license fee uh, and you enter it into a license or a, fr a franchise agreement. Uh, the last uh, area of, of focus will be to, to really search for that great talent out there. Uh, we realize, you know, to really get very mocked to the, to the points that we want to be turnover-wise, profitability-wise, we need to grow the business. And for that reason, there is a, a recruitment drive to get extra talent in to complement the existing very mock team. <laughs>